first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so in this lesson number eight on the topic syllogism now we are going to solve some of the question that is based on the conclusion only a few so we already solved seven different lessons we have seen many different conclusions so lesson number one i have taught you what is called a sum and all conclusion lesson number two no conclusion lesson number three possibility conclusion lesson number four sum not conclusion lesson number five i think i have thought complementary pairs complementary pair one complementary pair two so now in this lesson number eight we are going to solve some of the question that is based on the conclusion only a few it's very interesting right just see before solving a question that is based on only a few conclusion first let me understand what is called as only a few and how to implement this logic in the syllogism topic okay? just i have given an example word here so totally in a classroom there are 100 students right out of 100 students only a few students are studying mathematics so what is the meaning of it so let me read the sentence again out of 100 students only a few students you can see this word only a few so what is the meaning of it out of 100 students only a few students are studying mathematics let me take let me assume that out of 100 students if 20 students are studying mathematics then what about the remaining 80 definitely they will not study mathematics yes or no got it they are saying out of 100 students only a few students are studying mathematics so I am just assuming that if there are 100 students, if 20 students are studying mathematics, then the remaining 80 students definitely they will not study mathematics because they are exactly saying that only a few, right? In case if 40 students are studying mathematics, then what about the remaining 60? Definitely they will not study mathematics. So the meaning of only a few is some students will study max. Yes. 20 students are studying mathematics so we can say some students are studying max plus some students will not study max which means some not so the combination of some and some not which is called as only a few friends understood so out of 100 students only a few students studying max which means only some students are studying max if some students are studying max then there will be some students who are not studying max so the meaning of only a few is some students will study max plus some students will not study max. So it's understood this logic, right? If 20 students are studying max, then definitely the remaining 80 students, they are not studying mathematics. So only a few, which means some students are studying max plus in the same combination, some students are not studying max. So friends, only a few. And remember another important point if they have given only a few and they are asking whether all students are studying max is that true or not they are asking only a few students are studying max but in the conclusion if they are asking all students are studying mathematics that is wrong understood only some students are studying max and some students are not studying max but definitely all students will not study mathematics whether 100 percentage 100 students are studying mathematics here no it is wrong they have given only a few out of 100 if 20 students are studying mathematics then the remaining will not study mathematics but what they are asking is whether all the students are studying mathematics no it is wrong understood so if you see this word only a few either in statement or either in conclusion right if you find the word only a few which means sum is correct some not is correct but all is not at all correct it is wrong understood friends right out of 100 students only a few students are studying max if they ask a statement like this the conclusion will be some students will study max is true some students will not study max that is also true but all students study max is false so all alone false some is true some not is true understood this is the exact meaning of only a few so if you need to draw a diagram for this only a few, for example, they are giving a statement like this. Only a few cars or scooter. So how to draw a diagram for it? Only a few cars or scooter. So only a few, which means a sum, right? So how to draw a diagram is 
draw car ear and draw scooter ear that's it if they ask this only a few in the statement just draw a diagram as some so some cars are scooter and we know that if it is only a few there are two possible some is also correct some not is also correct just see only some cars are scooter so this region we can say some cars are scooter and these are the areas where we can say some cars are not scooters so friends understood so only a few is a collection of some plus some not so some will be this region and some not will be this region so they are asking only a few cars are scooter so i have drawn a venn diagram like this and i am saying that this region alone right this region this region is some cars are scooter these are the regions which we call it as some cars are not scooters understood so in case if they ask a statement like only a few you should draw a diagram like this understood friends so now let me move on to five important question so that if i solve that five important question now what i am going to do is i am just going to implement this only a few in all the five question statements in the statement you can find the word that is only a few so based on that we can solve five question definitely you can able to understand the concept and uh, another important thing always remember that if they ask a statement that is based on only a few just concentrate on the conclusion whether it is a direct link or indirect link it is important right some students will make a mistake here so every time if you find the only a few statement so while solving a conclusion try to remember that whether the conclusion is direct conclusion or an indirect link conclusion i will teach you right i will teach you this logic on question number 5 or 4 but before that just remember it whether it's a direct conclusion or as indirect link conclusion so based on that we need to solve a question so first time if you are watching this video definitely you can't able to understand anything try to watch from lesson number 1 so that you can surely understand what i am teaching now so let me move on to all the important five questions question number 1 so here they have given four statement so statement number 1 no friday is sunday so there should not be any connection between friday and the sunday so second statement some sunday or monday okay and the third statement all monday or tuesday so all monday or tuesday and the last statement only a few tuesday or wednesday remember there is a word only a few so only a few tuesday or wednesday so what does it means only a few which is a collection of some and some not so we can say this region where some tuesday or wednesday and all these remaining region where we can say some tuesday or not wednesday friends understood so they have given only a few tuesday or wednesday so only a few means collection of some and some not so remember this region is called as some tuesday or wednesday and these regions we can say some tuesday or not wednesday understood so now let me move on to the conclusions they have given so first conclusion some wednesday or monday so they are asking whether some wednesday or monday just see here we have wednesday here and we have a monday circle here so there is no connection between monday and wednesday but there are saying some wednesday or monday no it is wrong so conclusion number 1 is wrong because there is no connection between monday and wednesday conclusion number 2 some tuesday or not wednesday so what they are saying is some tuesday or not wednesday just now i have told you this region we say some tuesday or wednesday but all these remaining regions we say some tuesday or wednesday so similarly conclusion 2 they are asking that some tuesday or not wednesday s yes, some tuesday this region is not wednesday is true so conclusion number 2 is true conclusion number 3 all tuesday being wednesday is possible all tuesday being wednesday is possible is that possible no it is not possible just now in the basics i have told you some is correct plus some not is correct but all is not at all correct so we can say all tuesday being wednesday is not at all possible so it is wrong so so finally conclusion number 3 is false so this will be the answer for question number 1 question number 2 so they have given four statements so let me draw a diagram for it no grape is a guava so no grape is guava then some guavas are fruit okay 
then some, only a few fruit is a banana. So just see the third statement, only a few. So actually we used to draw a diagram like this. So only a few fruit is a banana. But remember that it is a combination of some plus some not, right? This area where we can say some fruits are banana. But all the remaining areas, these areas, we can say some fruit are not a banana. Understood? So they have given only a few fruit is banana, which means some fruit is banana and also some fruit are not banana. So according to the diagram, these are the areas where we can say some fruit are bananas and these are the areas we can say some fruit are not bananas, right? And the last conclusion, all bananas are apple. So all bananas are apple. Okay. So finally, we have drawn the diagram for the given statement. So now let me move on to the conclusion. So conclusion number one, some fruit are not banana. Whether it is true or not, they are saying some fruit are not banana. Just see here, just now I have told you, these are the areas where we call it as some fruit are bananas. And these areas we call it as some fruit are not bananas. Yes, so conclusion number one is exactly correct because these areas we can say some fruit are not bananas. Second conclusion, all fruit being apple is a possible. So what they are saying is whether all fruits being apple is a possible or not. Just see, we already know that all bananas are apple. In case if I draw an apple like this, we are not violating the statement, right? If I draw a diagram like this, then all fruit being apple is also possible. Got it, right? Only thing is, you should not draw banana for all with fruit. That is only wrong. So we can draw apple for all and we can draw apple for this full region. It is possible. We are not violating the statement. So always remember if they have given a word only a few that is for fruit and banana. You should not draw fruit and banana all. If you draw this all diagram it is wrong. So remaining thing everything are same. Understood? So finally, this both the conclusions are correct. So this will be the answer for question number two. Question number three. So only a few cars are cycle. So which means we need to draw some cars or cycle. But the exact meaning is only a few car are cycle. So some car or cycle will be this region. And these are the regions where some cars are not a cycle. Understood? Okay. So second statement, all cars are scooter. So they are saying that all cars are not scooter. Sorry, all cars are scooters. So all cars are scooters. Okay, so they have given only one conclusion. What they are saying is some scooter are not. So they are asking some scooters are not car is true or false. Just see here, it is based on some not conclusion. So first our target to find what all the regions are there for some scooter. So some scooter, so some scooter we have this region or not. So all these regions we can say it's some scooter region. They are saying that these regions are not a cycle. Is that true or false? Yeah, it is true. We already know that some cars are cycle and these regions, some cars are not cycle. So now they are saying that some scooters are not cycle. Yes, some scooters, these regions are not cycle. It is true. So finally, we can say that some scooters are not a cycle. That is true. Understood friends, right? So remember the concept is important, right? If you know that concept 100% solving all the question will be easy. So now let me move on to the fourth important question. So here we can learn what is called as direct link conclusion and what is called as indirect link conclusion, right? So only a few pen are scale. So they are saying that few pen are scale. So what is the meaning of it? So this region, because it's only a few statement. So if it is only a few statement, then we can say some pens are scale. So this region and all these areas where some pen are not scale. Understood? Second statement, only a few scale are box. So only a few scale are box. What is the meaning of it? Some scale will be box and the remaining these areas where some scales are not box. And the last statement, only a few boxes are rubber. So again, only a few. So only a few boxes are rubber. So which means this region where we can say some box are rubber. 
and all these areas we can say some box are not rubber understood so finally we have drawn the venn diagram for the given statement so now what is called as a direct link just see here they have given only a few word for pen and the scale alone so we can say pen and scale we have a direct link because according to only a few they are talking only for pen and scale so we can say pen and scale have a direct link according to second statement only a few they have given for scale and box so scale and a box is a direct link similarly box and a rubber will have a direct link understood friends why i am saying this as a direct link because pen and scale they have given a statement for only a few so here also only a few that is for scale and box so i am saying that scale and box will have a direct link and the last statement only a few they have given for box and rubber so box and rubber is a direct link what is called as indirect link if we connect pen and rubber it is called as an indirect link friends understood why i am saying this as a indirect link because there is no connection between pen and rubber if they have given only a few for pen and rubber we can say it is a direct link but without any giving anything so we can say pen and rubber is an indirect link similarly pen and box is an indirect link scale and rubber is an indirect link so friends understood this logic so these three that is pen and scale scale and box box and rubber is a direct link because they all have a connection based on this only a few statement but pen and box if you connect pen and box it does not have any direct link it is an indirect link similarly scale and rubber we don't have any direct link so scale and rubber is an indirect link pen and rubber pen and rubber is also an indirect link so these are the called as direct link and indirect link understood friends so before solving a conclusion you should know while reading the conclusion itself you should decide whether these two words have a direct link with the diagram or indirect link with the diagram right friends now let me move on to the conclusions right so conclusion number 1 all scale being box is a possible there are asking all scale being box is a possible we know that some scales are box and also some scales are not box and also it's a direct link or not yes it has a direct link scale and a box is will be a direct link conclusion so if it is a direct link conclusion just now i have told you if it is only a few some is correct some scale or box is correct some scale or not box is correct but all scale or box it is wrong so here they are asking all scale being box is a possible no it is wrong conclusion number 1 is false conclusion number 2 some box are not rubber some box are not rubber so this region we can say some box are rubber and all these remaining areas we can say some box are not rubber so similarly they are saying some box are not rubber it is true third conclusion some scale are pen yeah this region we can say some scales are pen so conclusion number 3 is true so friends understood all these three conclusions it, it is easy no 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 let me move on to that indirect link conclusion first conclusion some scales are not rubber see here we have scale here right rubber is here we don't have any direct link right direct link only scale with box but indirect link scale and a rubber they are saying some scale are not rubber so we already know that if it is a some not conclusion if the scale and rubber given in a single venn diagram then it is wrong so some scale are not rubber it is an indirect link so it is wrong understood friends second all scale are rubber is a possible so we have scale here and we have rubber here they are asking all scale being rubber is a possible we know that it is a possibility conclusion and also it does not have any direct link so scale and rubber both are in a single venn diagram so it is definitely correct some box are not pen some box are not pen again we have pen here and we have box here so between box and pen there is no direct link and there are asking some not conclusion so definitely it is wrong understood usually what we learn if it is a possibility if all the given data is in the single venn diagram possibility is correct if all the data is are in a single venn diagram some not is wrong that we applied in the indirect link understood friends it is very easy so practice more number of question that is based on only a few conclusion right beginners will feel difficult 
without watching all the previous videos if you directly come and watch this video no one can able to understand it try to learn all the seven lessons that i have posted on my youtube channel after that come to this eighth lesson you can surely understand this right so finally uh, if they ask only a few statement only thing that you need to remember note this point if they ask only a few so what is correct some is correct some not is also correct but if they ask all that is wrong so friends understood it right if some students are studying mathematics that is correct some students are not studying mathematics that is also correct but if they are asking by giving only a few whether all the students are studying mathematics that is alone wrong so all is wrong some is correct and some not is correct while uh, checking in the conclusion try to initially check whether it has a direct link with the statement or it has an indirect link right just now i have told you what is the difference between direct link and what is the difference between indirect link understood so try to practice more number of questions only then you can able to understand it so thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to uh, watch the remaining silhwati some videos in case if i am posting remaining videos surely i will intimate it thank you so much for watching it bye